Okay, this video is on how to fog multiple machines. Um, and the first part of this is on how to prep the machine. I'm going to go into F2 uh, first to go into BIOS and just go over the couple things that you need to make sure you've done on every machine. So first of all, before you fog or image a machine all the time, make sure it's got the right amount of memory. In this case, this machine has 4 gig of RAM because it's an imaging machine. On student machines, we have two. I mean, on staff machines, we have two. On student machines, we have one. Um, make sure it's got the right amount of memory. In the boot sequence, we want to see onboard CD-ROM, then SATA drive. Network controller does not have to be on on this particular screen. On the boot sequence, we're going to go CD-ROM, then hard drive. I'm going to hit escape and save that. Down at the drives, I want to go through and make sure the drives that I think are connected are on. So I have one SATA drive and one PETA drive in this machine. So SATA 0 is on and showing an 80 gig drive. SATA 2 is off because there's nothing there. PETA 0 is off, although I should have it on, connected up to our, our CD-ROM drive. And PETA 1 should be off, nothing there. The next thing I want to check is to go to the onboard devices, hit enter to expands, and the integrated NIC has to be on with Pixie or PXE so that it can boot from the network. Those are the first things I want to make sure. I should have already done a hard drive test. I should have already done a memory test before I image because the last thing I want to do is image a PC and put it out there with it not working. So after I've got those things, I hit escape and save and exit. And now when it comes up to boot, I, instead of hitting F2, I'm going to hit F12 to get into the boot menu. And when I come into the boot menu, it's going to show all the bootable devices that are there. I'm going to pick onboard network controller, and it's going to go out to boot to the network. So when I hit that, it's going to go out, and I'm going to hit continue. And so it's going to come down here and look for the network to boot to. I've got my finger on the down arrow so that I can... Um, pick the right thing when it comes up. This will only be up for three seconds before it continues. If I'm doing a single system, I'm doing that full host, which is a separate video. This time I'm just going to do the quick host registration and inventory. And I'm going to do that with all my PCs so that they show up on the fog server, which is where I'm going to go down to next. So I would hit that and let it go. And then I'm going to go down to the fog server and get on here next to show you what we're doing on the fog server. So I've opened up Firefox on this machine and I'm at address 10.66.6.161 which is our fog server and I'm logged in I'm at the home address of our fog server. Now the first thing I need to know is what the names of these machines are. The third tab down here is the hosts and I'm gonna go ahead and log back in because I obviously got logged out. and go back down here to the hosts again, and I'm gonna list all hosts. So normally, if I do a quick host registration, this is what I see. I see just the MAC address of those machines, and those are the ones that uh, I'm gonna be doing right now, is those two machines. So what I do is I only click the ones that are the new ones. So I only have those two check marked, and I'm gonna create a group called, in this case, image PCs. I can make it whatever I want to, it doesn't matter. And I'm going to hit process group changes and it just made a group because I'm going to image to a group. Now I go down to group management and list all my groups and I see this image PC group. And now on that group I have to define two things first in order to image to it. So first I have to tell it what the image is and what the operating system is. So the image that I'm sending to this, I click on Image Association and select the image, which in this case is the GX280 Windows 7 image. So I select that and I hit Update Images. So I've told it what's going to go to that. And then I have to tell it what the operating system is, so I click on that. And in this case it's Windows 7. So I choose Windows 7 and hit Update Operating System. So now I've got a group with two PCs in it 
that I've already told it what the image and the operating system is. So now I just go down here to task management and I'm going to list all my groups. And I see a group called image PCs. I want to multicast them, so I click on multicast. And normally we shut down after completion unless we're going to name them right then. There's no reason to have them reboot. I just hit shut down after completion and I hit image all computers using multicast. So then I'm going to go back down to my imaging PCs and I've got them ready to boot from the network. So now I say onboard network controller on this one. And it's going to pixie boot and look for that boot up there for that one. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other one and pick uh, the, to boot from the network controller. And you can see it's going through, if you watch the other video on how to image one, it looks very much the same. The only difference is now when it finds the hard drives, it's going to wait to send it and it's going to sit here at this please wait screen until the other one gets to the same spot. Since I'm imaging two, this one's a little bit behind. So it's going to do the exact same thing on both screens. That one's still at that please wait blue screen. This one's waiting to come up. And as soon as both systems are up at the same time, and you can see this is a little different than the single one. It says it's an upcast this time because it's doing a multicast. And now as soon as both of them are ready, it's going to start sending both of them at the same time. Still taking just a few minutes to do. Uh, it just popped up to six hours. So one of these drives, by the way, it should take around 10 to 20 minutes max. If you see one pop up like that to five hours, it means one of these drives is bad. So I'm going to go ahead and shut this down and not image the whole thing. And I'm going to figure out which drive is bad. I'm not the one to put these together. So obviously whoever did, did not test these drives. Oh look, there it goes. So maybe there was just a little bit of a problem there. I disconnected it from the network and now all of a sudden it's dropping down drastically back in the in the 20 minute range. So probably still going to test these when I'm done, but obviously there was something wrong with one of the sectors on one of these drives that it wasn't imaging well. So that's basically it. You're going to set them up just like you do whether you're doing 1 or 20. Um, you're going to do a quick host registration which just sends the information to the other PC and then you go down and when we're on this web console here that's when we're um, able to go in to the host management to the host management and um, list all of all the um, hosts and you like I said it the new ones are always going to show up like that these are ones that we used the full host registration and actually gave it a name, whereas these are ones that just got the name of the MAC address. I added them to a group, I defined the group, and then I multicasted to the group using the task management down here. And that's it.